Hello and welcome to Sea of Thieves, where today I'm going to be doing something a little different. So, the Galleon in Sea of Thieves is for four players. I never have four players to play with, so I never get to use a Galleon. I decided I'm going to sail a Galleon alone, all by myself, on a ship that's meant for four people. So, I have so many cool ship cosmetics. Like, I really do. I don't even know where half of these came from anymore. It's been so long. Gilded Phoenix. Soaring Gilded Phoenix. But, uh, yeah. So, I never get to use my cool ship cosmetics on a galleon. So, we're gonna do exactly that. So, right now, I'm just going to put together my main ship. The ship I, al I almost always use on a sloop. Which is a combination of different sets. The lionfish figurehead, a, the royal squirrel hull, ruby splash tail sails, the rose wheel, barnacle cannons. I mean, I think it matches really well considering the ship's set is, or none of it is from a repeat ship set. Oh no, I missed. Anyway, so this is my main ship. The one I use almost all the time, just on the smaller ship. I love the deep wood red of the deck. And the gold trim. It just looks really elegant. Uh, the sails being pink, I, I wouldn't mind if they were red sails instead, or even black sails. But the pink, the pink still goes with the ship. And you know what? I'm a girl. I could have pink sails if I wanted. I'm normally not a fan of pink, but it, it works with the ships. But we are not going to use my usual today. We are going to do something different. So we are going to make the ultimate fish boat. We have the lionfish hull. We're going to do the splash tail sails, the non-collector versions. We're going to do the lionfish wheel. We're going to do the splash tail cannons. And yeah, it's bright. It's colorful, but you know what? Sometimes it's nice to be bright and colorful. Uh, the lionfish set is very new. But I had to get it because I love the ocean and I love fish. Oh, the galleon has so much room. Look at all this room. Amazing. But yeah, so I'm going to sail a galleon all by myself, completely alone, in the wonderful fish boat. A lionfish splash tail co collaboration conglomeration here. Oh, I love the lionfish figurehead, by the way. It is so cute. Look at him. Very pretty. And I love this hull. Look at this blue to purple fade with the gold trim and the red accents. I love the outside of the hull. The deck, the purple deck, I'm not a huge fan of. I wish it was red. But let's take this boat out. Oof, the hard hardest part of sailing a galleon alone is raising the anchor. Oh, it's so slow. So slow. I like looking at my fish, though. They give me encouragement and, and uh, optimistic, cheerful... I don't know where I'm going with this. They give me happy encouragement. They're my little cheerleaders. All right, so we have the anchor up. We're raising this. We have the sails down. I can't really see where I'm going because of the sails. I think I might need to raise them up just a tad so I can see where I'm going. And I know the galleon turns like a truck. And you have to start turning a long time before you actually get to where you want to be. So let's go. This is going to be fun. Maybe. Might be boring. So, uh, yeah, while I was sailing, this level 5 Reaper sloop has decided to start attacking me. I'm not going to be able to defend a galleon all by myself, so I'm just sitting here eating my, my popcorn emote. And letting them have at it. Have fun. 
I'm just gonna just gonna observe and watch. Hi guys, how's it going? I don't have my mic turned on. Well, I do for recording, but I don't for in-game. Let's let's adjust our position here. Eat some more popcorn. Mmm, num num. Hi guys. How you doing? Everything is okay. I'm not so sure about that, mister. Mr. Wheezy. Sink it if you want. I can't defend it alone. Why are you solo on a <laughs> Why are you alone? Because I want it to be. I never get to use a galley. Look at my poor fish boat. Oh, it was so beautiful. Now it's so trashed. Oh, the fishy sails. It's alright. This is part of the game. This, I mean, Sea of Thieves is a PvP game. PvP does happen. I tend to try to avoid it when I can, but in a galleon, I don't have much choice against a f sloop. And especially when I'm alone. So we're just gonna sit here. Because if I recall, there is an achievement to sink in the captain's chair. Oh wait, there's somebody on my ship. What are you doing? You don't need to see- they're trying to save my ship! Oh, aren't they sweet? I'm gonna need some popcorn and watch. Actually, no. Hey, you don't have to do that, guy. Whoop. Delete that. You don't have to save my ship, it's okay. It's done for. Aw, oh, dang it, I typed too fast. Oh my god, I typed too fast. To save it. Fair enough. Yeah, there's no reason to save it. It's done for. You guys sink it fair and square. Granted, I have no treasure there, so they're getting literally nothing out of it, but... I might as well get my achievement for sinking while sitting in the captain's chair. How nice- it was really nice of them to try and save my ship for me, though. I mean, that's sweet of them. Oh, I got the achievement! Down with the ship! Alright, bye guys! Good job sinking me! Oh, down we go. Oh, I can actually play music. Oh, there actually is music. Well, that was fun. Uh, it was nice of them to try and fix my boat. Ultimately, though, the galleon is just a lot of work to sail by myself. Um, it's fun, though. I wish I wish I could, because, like I said, everything on it just looks so much nicer than, you know, whatever I could make on the sloop. Oh, hello, treasure. There's nothing in the treasure. But we don't need to have it in the way. Just set this over here. There we go. Yay, out of the way. Anyways, but yeah, like, this is still my favorite ship. I'm still gonna use this one almost exclusively. I just, I really like, I really like the red, the red deck. I like the gold trim. It just, it looks so elegant. It really does. And, uh, but yeah, sailing a galleon alone, not a good idea. It was entertaining, at least, to, and they that they tried to save my boat after they found out I was by myself. But, yeah. Well, one thing is that, like, when you get attacked by a skeleton ship, or a megalodon, or a kraken, if you're in a galleon, the difficulty is raised. So it's like, I can't just sail a galleon around and fish, because anything, any danger that pops up is going to be stronger, than I and I can't do it single player by myself. But that's not going to stop me from making galleons and just enjoying how pretty they are. Oh, look at my beautiful boat. I really do like it. Okay, look at how pretty the sails are compared to the sloop. The sloop just has the center one with the three fish. And it doesn't get the red, the red trim on the side of the hull. Yeah, I really like that boat. Another one I like. Yes, I'm just rambling. I'm sorry. I just, I feel like doing this, so be quiet. Uh, another one I like is the Kraken, Royal Revenge, the Captain Sails, Warsmith, no, Warsmith, and Warsmith is this one. I think this looks really nice. Sorry, I thought I saw something. I think this one looks really nice, too. 
and I'm gonna go. I use this one now and then when I feel like being a little bit more dark and edgy looking. I also change my outfit when I use this ship to something that matches better. But yeah, let's let's take a look at this one. Oh man, it just looks so good on a galleon. Everything looks so good on a galleon. Gosh dang it, I wish I could use galleons. I wish I could. But even though I have friends that play now, we still only do brigs. But yeah, it looks it looks good. I like the hull. It's a bit darker red than the uh, royal squirrel hull I use on the other one. It's a bit of a darker red, has some black streaking, which is really cool. But yeah, and it I just this one looks really nice with the with the war smith stuff. Uh, but let's see. Hold on. So I have gotten a couple of extra stuff. That I'm going to talk about, even if no one cares. So clothing-wise, I unlocked a commendation, which has allowed me to use the Cultured Aristocrat set, which is what I'm wearing right here. Other than the belt, the belt is from the current season, but it matches so well. Look at that. It's like it was made to go with it. So I've been using this. For one, it cost me a lot of money to buy, and two, it was a huge pain to unlock. Because to unlock it, you have to shoot an enemy player ship with a peace ball, which disables their cannons, while flying the Reaper Mark flag, which marks your position on the map for everyone to see. And since I don't normally PvP, it's a, it was a bit of a task, but my friends and I managed to pull it off in the, in the middle of some combat. Uh, if I still have the video clip, I'll stick it in. I don't know if I actually have the clip or not, but we'll see. Okay, I just checked. I did not keep the video clip. So, oh well. Oops, it wasn't it wasn't that exciting of a uh, video, so I didn't keep it. Oh well. But uh, the commendation is Cursed Cruise. It's right here. The Curse of a Pacifist's Demise. But yeah, we I managed to get it with my friends, so that's fun. And I've been using it a lot. But it doesn't really match my black and red ship. So for the black and red ship, I tend to go uh, this outfit. Where's my cool jacket? There it is. Belt. Go with that one. Pants. Boots. Do, 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 do. No, not that one. Uh, this one. And it's so hard to view with the outfit, so we're going to go to our title. There, that's the outfit I normally use for my red and gold ship, or my black and gold ship that I'm using. It's a bit, a bit more official looking, a bit nicer. Oops, not that button. Uh, this button. This is how I normally look at my outfit. But uh, it's it's not, you know, it's dark out, so it's hard to see. But um, yeah, I really like the red and gold, or I mean the white. I really like the white and cream though, and I tend to use that because of the amount of effort that went into unlocking it. Plus, I just feel so fancy when I use it. So we're going to put that back on. But the best thing, the best thing about this update is Pocket Crab. Look, I have a crab friend. I wish it was a real pet. I really do. I wish it wasn't just an emote. I wish it was an actual pet. And look, we do the crab dance together. I think that's cute. I wish I could zoom in on the crab, but I can't. Look at him go. Dance, little fella, dance. But yeah, I love the crab. I hope one day they will add real crabs for mini pets. Not just because this is just an emote, not not an actual pet. And I want an actual pet rare, please. You want to know what I named him and what I would name a real pet? Leonardo da Pinci. Isn't that just great? Ah, oh, I love it. Also, there are different. It does different emotes based on. It's random. There's four different ones. Like this when you're just saying cute things like, Oh, who's a cute little crab, Leonardo da Pinci? You are. Yes, you are. But anyways. So yeah, I got the new crab emote, which I love. I wish it was a mini pet, but maybe one day Rare will give us a mini pet. Um, I like my new lionfish stuff, even though the hole, I wish it wasn't purple deck. I wish it had a darker, darker deck. But anyways, so to cap up this video, uh, I tried to sail a galleon alone. It went all right until I got attacked. The guys were nice, though, because they tried to help fix my ship when they found out I was all by myself, so that was nice of them. And yeah, I have a new crab friend, even though I can only use him as an emote. And 
I'll just stick to a sloop when I'm by myself, cause the, uh, the galleon is a little bit of a pain for a single player. But I wanted, I wanted to drive a galleon. I really did. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.